So we looked at uh, at 12 European cities that are sort of a rough geographical spread of the continent and our major cities of, of where, where lots of people live. And we find that overall, um, there are estimated to be uh, that uh, 2,300 people have died during that heat wave. And of these 2,300, 1,500 um, have only died because of climate change. So they would not have died if it would not have been for our burning of oil, coal and gas in the last century. our cities are still not designed um, to be able to really withstand these extreme heat waves that we are frequently seeing now. And so in this study, we, we are trying for the first time to rapidly also assess what that means in terms of death and why it is so important to adapt to the climate change we already see, but also to stop burning fossil fuels. Because out of three deaths, two would not have happened if it wasn't for climate change. Older populations have been uh, reported uh, in the literature to be the most vulnerable. This could be due to different factors. One of the, the main factors is that older people tend to live with comorbid uh, conditions. That said, older people are more likely to have cardiovascular diseases, COP chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, diabetes, etc. Apart from these chronic conditions, older people are reported to have impaired thermoregulatory system. That is, when the temperatures are very high, the generic population have good mechanisms to regulate heat, whereas older populations, this, uh, this, this mechanism do not work properly, which leads to putting them on, putting strain on the cardiovascular system and thus uh, putting them in higher risk for hospitalization or mortality. Thank you.